Are you ready for the night? Are you ready for the eternal night? The night of the serpent, the night of the dragon, the night of the draconic serpent, the night of yeah, eternal darkness. Eternal darkness and to see the light finally in the end. So this is the symbol that I love to use beside my, uh, my dragon's eye. This is the symbol of the three horns, the three horns of the three dragons. One of the horns belongs to the gods. The left one belongs to the guardians. The, the middle one is for the gods and the right one is for us. And that is also for the same reason as the, with the dragon's eye that I put my knife over there because that is where we are. And that is where we have to evolve into, into the horn that is our soul is actually recognizing. But we as a human don't recognize it. And I use this, this symbol to find and trying to find the, the memories, the memories inside of it. But also, this, this is also being called the key of the night or, or the astral key, the key that opens the gates that actually are very much closed up. So this is actually a very interesting uh, symbol. If you want to use it, a simple, simple actually. Uh, three horns of the three dragons coming together. Actually, there should be, there should be also a circle in it, a circle that all of them, and that is where, the, where the, the, the brand stands for, a circle that all of them collects to it the same place, wherever they are, the same place, all of the dragons coming to the same place. Your dragon eye is coming together here as one being, as one energy. So in this, this side, it belongs to you. So this is the side where you have to focus on, the side of your own energy that you need to connect with all of your dragons here in the key of the night. But this is not without any effort, of course, because the, like I said, it's the key of the night. It's to open the gates that are closed, very much closed. But should it remain, it sh actually should remain closed because this is forcing it to open it. So don't expect anything like, uh, oh yeah, it happens and it feels good. No, because this is forcing it. This is very powerful. Uh, actually a bit dark magic but also draconic magic it's all in uh, in order to find your dragon and if your intentions are very clear if your intentions are are um, pure then there is nothing to fear for the the night key because this awakens leviathan this awakens the guardian of all of the gates because you are opening a gate that should remain closed yet you are trying to find it with this symbol the symbol that I sometimes use underneath my bed even. Sometimes too, so that I can travel into the astral plane to find the, the dragon gate, the fifth gate. That is why, it's because of this symbol that I recognize that I have to count five gates before I, before I reach the dragon's gate. And that is a very, very far away. It, whenever, this, whenever this sign and symbol works inside of my dreams and visions, I have to say that whenever I close my eyes, it takes a lifetime. Whenever I open my eyes again, it, it's, it's like I've been born and I had a life and then I died and then you can wake up again. That is how, how strong it can be. I had a life inside of a dream. That is how long it can be. Uh, so, and this triggers Leviathan very much. But if Leviathan is already by your side, if, if Leviathan is one of the three horns, then there is, of course, nothing to fear there. I mean, he knows that you are uh, opening the gate, trying to open the gate, but this is forcing it. But you don't, you, you cannot force your own mind. And that is just it. You are trying to force it with symbols, but you cannot force your own mind. And that is important. Whenever you use this, your mind has to be pure. Um, pure minded, that you just simply want this for one purpose all, to have this branch, to have this, to know, to come together as one, to be together as one, to come together in this circle and to have these three horns, to know what your dragons are thinking and to be one with each other, to know where the dragon gate is and open it together as one. Also to evolve your own energy, to evolve your own, um, your own horn, and your horns has to has to grow inside of a ritual like this. What you have to do for a ritual like this? Focus yourself on this one, on this side, on the right side, so that you focus yourself on your horn. Let it grow. 
let it uh, let, let it uh, grow as much as as long as the other ones so if if it's as long as the other ones then you can focus yourself of becoming one face one face of all of your dragons all of you thinking as one your god your guardian even leviathan so that you can feel the darkness are you prepared to feel the darkness of leviathan can you handle it in the beginning i was not handling it at all i mean i was not uh, it was difficult. It was very difficult. I could not handle it. So much information, so much new information, information that I should not know, that no one should know. A human mind has limits. But I, in these dreams, had to pass my limits and in this ritual as well. So I had to focus myself, concentrate hard, very hard to, be, to, to use the key of the night. To use the key of the night where I should be able to open up the dragon's gate and to find the dragon's gate with the help of leviathan you should be able to find it because he knows everything inside of the void he knows it inside of the astral plane he knows wherever he should go but you have to know it yourself as well to know where you have to go the key of the night opening and forcing but not your own mind and that is what is the most important thing in every single ritual that you do for the dragon and especially in witchcraft like this that you have to have a pure mind if you don't have a pure mind then you will know you will you might open up the wrong gates or there won't won't be happening anything at all and that is actually the best thing if there's nothing going on but if you open up the wrong gates with this because your mind is not pure on the dragon then of course uh, yeah that that is not actually good but if you want to use this you have to think twice of course are you ready for the night are you ready for the eternal night because that is something that i've seen with this the eternal night it was always dark always black always like this before i came to enter the dragon's gate the fifth gate you have to have a lesson and that is what the gate also that is also what the key is actually standing for where if you if you open the key and you open the door are you ready for what is behind it because what is behind it can be something that you will not never be prepared for it is something completely that you don't even know what it is it is actually something that will you will never be prepared for but for leviathan they know of course what you are doing inside of a dragon's gate inside of a inside of the realms whenever you are doing something it is always doing with a pure mind <sighs> whenever you are yeah that sorry i was distracted whenever you are doing something with the dragon and i i cannot say this enough whenever you are doing something for the dragon it always has to be sincere it always has to be and with this symbol with this symbol very much as well a symbol like this cannot be used for light purposes and also very important just like the dragon's eye do this alone do this by yourself with this you become one you become one with your dragons you become one with the dragon gods you become one and you let yourself your horn grow and also very important to let the human self sleep as much as possible because your human self will not handle this the more that it sleeps the better it is the key of the night also being called a clavicula nox um, also but yeah it, it's not really explained very much in this where, wherever they are uh, uh, talking about uh, the clavicula nox i was saying um I was reading a bit about it and they were saying things like yeah the trident and more like um, uh, the trident of Neptune uh, things like this and I said no I feel a lot of a lot of different vibes with this symbol like this whenever I touched it whenever I I felt it I said it says no this is not something from Neptune this is not something that they ever talked about just like my dragon's eye I have a different vibes with it with everything that it stands for i said this is not anything what they have said this is a dragon sign this is something that i can use and whenever <coughs> and i like i like like i said i like to experiment experimenting everything questioning everything so i i questioned this how to use it 
how should I use it? So, like I said, feeling the feeling the guardians, feeling the gods, feeling yourself, and coming to one place, standing together, standing together and finding the ways as one being. Now, now that was revelation. That uh, beside the dragon's eye, this is my favorite symbol, but this is a dark one. So think twice before you use the key of the night. <clears throat> the key of the night always has to be done alone. Like I said, a dragon witch, a solitary witch, get my point. Everything that you do should be, be among you and your dragons. Everyone else should, is actually more like a distraction. Because for, for someone else, it can have a total different meaning. But for me, in my experience, it means a lot of finding your dragons. But <clears throat> the difference with the dragon eye, which, which is specific in finding your dragons, your dragons, this one, you already have to be one in order to find the gate. So actually, this is more like opening. This is actually, yeah, difficult to explain. Um, this is more wide. This searches more, more wide for the dragons, for your own dragons. First, you have to search for each other. And whenever you, you are able to find each other, you merge with each other, and then you open up the gate. And that is also something that doesn't happen in five minutes. This can take years before it can happen. This can take also minutes whenever your mind is as pure as it can be. This can take minutes. This can take years. This can take a while before it works. So have a little patience with this. Patience. Sit in front of it. Use it underneath your bed, on your altar. Use it everywhere, on where, wherever you go. Um... If you want to hold the key of the night because this is just like the dragon's eye a symbol that is very personal this is your symbol this is what you are here on this earth with all of the spirits by your side that you hold dear that that is very close to you you and your dragons yeah this is actually lo loving this draconic witchcraft i love it i i it's it's such a revelation every time when something works when something when it makes me see something that humans are not seeing and it, and i am a spectator just looking at something that shouldn't be for human eyes and this is once again something like that just like the dragon's eye the clover killer showed me alongside with leviathan and Tiamat. And my guardians, alongside with them, we became one. We wanted to be one and just looking for this gate. Because we have the authority to look up inside of the, of, of the void and, and the astral plane. Looking inside it to find a gate that we are home. Just like, just like the dragon's eye. Um, but much more, yeah, it's, diff it's different. It's not the dragon's eye, it's different. It's darker, but it's also, um, it's also with a different kind of a purpose. It's not to find only your dragons, it does much more, but it's much more complex. So, for beginning witches, dragon witches, I shouldn't recommend this. I don't recommend the, uh, the, the key of the night. Just, if you, if you are in the beginning of your path, just enjoy your dragon. Just enjoy this feeling. Enjoy the emotions, the sensations. Enjoy it. And later on, you can use the dragon's eye in order to find them. It's, um, it's very simple, actually, to use the dragon's eye. And, um, yeah, it's, you, 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 want, you, want to, you, you will find your dragons with it. But um, with, the, with the key of the night, it's much more darker. It goes deeper. It's actually another level. It's another level of finding your dragons, but also to become one with each other. One with the dragon, one with nature, knowing everything there is to know. So, I wanted to see, I wanted to know, and I wanted to know everything. So I used the key of the night. There are even songs make about, made about it, for the revelation that it made with other people as well. But I can only see the horns of the dragons with it. And one of these horns is the horn that belongs to you.